for. It was really fun. Um, I actually started the Onet chance that eventually led them to go to Onet. Nice, nice. So I feel proud of that. I influenced Hungrybox. Looks my like dad just texted me to stop looking at my phone while I'm on stream. Shoutouts to my dad. He's uh, very bad at this game. I like how you ha how you have to look at your phone to read that message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad, you're making it worse. Back off. All right, so we have Didact. He just got sponsored pretty recently by Smash World Gaming, who also sponsors Mouth and Bananas, who are two other up-and-comers. That's pretty good. Didact is on the grind, dude. He wants to be amazing so bad, and, he, and he's on his way there. He's taking names. He's getting results. He's on the way there. So we got Didact versus Seafoy. Hmm. I don't think I've heard of Seafoy. I mean, I, I, I've seen his face before, but I've never seen that tag. Or maybe I have. Ooh. Really horrible side beat. But definitely yeah. not what he meant to do. I mean, zero death by Didact. Really good execution. Flawless. <laughs> yeah. Right. Good double shines on shield. So, so Didact started started like last year or like a year or two ago. I don't know. At some point, he he was at first a uh, a like net play tech lord kind of kind of guy, and Wait. then he went to events and got very good. Wait, that's a contradiction. You can't have good tech on net play. Uh. He, he ran it up in net play. I don't know, but 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 he started like alone in his room pressing buttons very quickly. Oh okay. He and then he went to tournaments and got real good. Just kidding. He's garbage. Yeah, just you know, both players like to give away their stocks by SD rather than combos. Right. That's a gentleman thing they do. Yeah. They're like, oh yes, you've you've performed this well enough. I'll just give away my stock now. Ooh, good spot dodge by Seapoy. All right, there's him off stage and going for the edge guard. That is the hacks edge guard. It's to it's to double jump back air in a way where you auto cancel the back air and then you can back air again to cover whatever else. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, it's super good. Isn't uh hacks the person who uh L L R A start Fox? Yeah. Whenever you're playing uh Captain Falcon or any low tier. SWG Didact messes up his pressure a little bit, gets grabbed for it. But doesn't get uh, too comboed off. Yeah. Here. It's hard to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that looks silly. Yeah. It is hard to get up throw combos whenever there's a platform right above you. Nice. Ooh, I think Didact might have gotten his jump back, but I'm not sure. Either way, really good uh, edge guard by Seafoy. Yeah, for sure. All right, good drill shine. Misses the up smash, yeah. though. Just barely. All right, good surprise back here. Yeah, I've actually noticed Didact doing that. He'll fall from platforms and just back air, fishing for uh, moves, but he'll auto cancel him as he lands. Oh, nice oh, coverage by Didact. But really horrible what? coverage by Didact. <laughs> he makes it work, though. Yeah, it worked out, but he just gave Wedge for free. It could have been so much worse for Didact if he didn't get that up smash. All right, small amount of laser camp. Are we going back in this? So, a very big part of melee, I, like 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 half of their stock at least is getting them to about forty to like sixty percent, and it's to get them out of crash crystal percent. So if Didact is at fifty something and Seafoy is at like like zero, if if they're both lasering at each other, Didact is getting much more off of each laser than Seafoy is because he's pushing them out of crash crystal percent. Mm -hmm. And uh, crouch cancel basically just lessens everything that is not like a hard grab. Right. Uh, I feel like getting your opponent out of crouch cancel percent is is melee's version of meter because like as you play more, they get further further out of it, and then and then you can do your ult of what like up throw up air or something, and then they finally die. Mm -hmm. So it becomes easier and easier to kill them, and you have more and more options as they get further and further out of crouch cancel percent. Mm -hmm. Good edge guard by Didact though. Yeah. Simple and clean. Back air from ledge. Didact always looks kind of angry. I love it. <laughs> He's he got the a, team rocket shirt. Yeah, he, he, look, he looks like a villain. He likes being the bad guy, though. Mm -hmm. So We're in all black. Team rocket shirt. He's yeah. a villain. He's coming for the Pokemon. Oh, he had to get rid of his clear controller. That's so sad. What happened? I I think I, I think it just like didn't work how I wanted it to, so I got a new one. Oh, dang. So now I'm the only one with a clear controller. I am, I am the dominant controller. 
My controller's weird. It's like the guts of one controller, the orange plate on the front, and the bl uh, black plate on the back. It's got three separate controllers. That's really weird. But it works. So, uh, going on to Dreamland, I wonder why Seaport picked this. Probably just a jumper pick. Because that's that's just what you gotta do in Dittos. You yeah. Just go for, for whatever makes you happy. Or if he feels like he can play more Ooh. patiently than Didact, because this is a good stage if you don't really want to... Oh my oh, god. man. See if I had that super sick combo almost work out, then it, and then it didn't. And then badly placed that smash gets him hit by Foxfire and into this... Well, I think that was more just a really good upbeat by Didact. That, that F smash would have hit most Fox players. I feel like uh, he was too far back for it to hit, but I could be wrong. Oh, oh good man, oh, that! <laughs> oh, jeez. Just charging oh, no. it. So, Didact is now in the lead, uh, camping the ledge. That's really cool. Just kidding. I mean, the entire pace oh, of the match is dictated by Didact. Yeah. So he can do whatever he wants. Because whenever you're ahead by this much, you don't have to approach. You don't have to do anything to him. Didact is also playing super smooth. Mm -hmm. His movement's really good. He's been getting consistent double shines. Um, I felt. I think he did SD once last game, but other than that, it's been almost perfect. All right. Oh, good spacing. Rough down air by C4. I don't think he meant to do it, but he gets killed for it. So C4 now in a really rough spot. Has to do some pretty gross fox things to get back into this. Yeah. Oh! I knew he was going for it, and then... He was trying to be gross, didn't work out. Yeah. Bad mangle. Oh, uh, that is a rough, a rough handshake. Mm -hmm. Fist bump. Hunter, can I, can I get off? I probably have to play. Okay. No, you're trapped here forever. All right. You have to listen to his stream insults you. Yep. That was a good play. I feel like Didact was playing well, but it was more Seafoy's mistakes that like made the set end up.